<laughs> we started this off at level one. Now we're 91. What is happening? So I'm starting a series where I play GTA 5 online, starting at level one in 2022. Sorry, the microphone is like, I usually have the mic off to the side, but it sounded really quiet when I tried recording a minute ago. So it's like right in my mouth now. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, let's see if it works. So yeah, so the whole point in this is, I, I, we saw, we all saw the leaks for GTA 6 that came out recently, and it got me excited for Grand Theft Auto again. Grand Theft Auto is my favorite franchise of all time. I've played Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto London, Grand Theft Auto 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 5 is what we're on now. I'm going to compile all of the best information there is on the internet. So it's all here in one place and we can do it together. If you're new to the game, hopefully we can just do it together. If you've been playing for a while, let me know in the comments if you have any tips and tricks for me because I'm going to need them. I'm going to be scouring all of the greatest information that is online for GTA Online and we are going to become billionaires in this game. So make sure you subscribe so you can follow along on our journey. But we're going to become multi-millionaires. So let's do it. All right, here we go. We hope you have fun in Grand Theft Auto Online and enjoy all the latest content updates. Don't cheat, or your account will be suspended and your character's progress may be reset. We use tools to detect cheating. Okay, we're good, we're good. Upfront about this, when I came to buy this game, I went on Steam and it was on sale, $14. Or you could pay like $45, which is still cheap for the game, but you get a Megalodon card. And a Megalodon card, if you were to buy it separately, is $100 by itself. So it's basically like $150 value for 45 bucks. This is not sponsored, but I got it, so I have a Megalodon card. Anyway. All right, we're gonna look so, so, so good. You've got to do your mum and dad? I don't remember this at all. Wait, is that Misty from Grand Theft Auto 3? Uh, that is, it, it looks like Misty. It looks like, I'll put the picture here. It looks like Misty. Do we have, Misty's got to be my mum if that's actually Misty, because Misty was so cool. <laughs> Never noticed this before. Is that John Mar? Are we Red Dead Online? That is John Marston. My dad, Misty and John. This is a match made in heaven. My GTA 3 character, my Red Dead character. That's our parents. Mum and dad. All right, there we are. Let's do it. Do you want to skip the GTA Online tutorial? I think so. I mean, we know the basics, right? Yeah, skip it. All right, so here we go. Starting off on our journey from 1 to 100. Fresh, trying to become a multi-billionaire. We've been here five bloody minutes. So now it says I'm the only person in this lobby. How the hell does that happen then? I'm a level one. We can see we've got zero XP and I'm the only person. There's no one in this lobby now. Just me. Hi, excuse me. Why'd you put me in the middle of goddamn nowhere game? Huh? You ever think about that? Uh, vehicle. <laughs> Maze bank, so we have that. We have a bung. So we have all this stuff. I'm pretty sure if you go to download this game now, everyone gets the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. Everyone, no matter which one you buy, you get the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. So this game has given us a few things already by the, by the looks of it. Uh, exceptionalist way, 10 car garage. Do we have cars in the garage? And then we have a, so, okay, so we have a, and we have a bunker as well. So let's go on the map here. Let's go on the map. Does it show me that I own things? Three hours later. So this one, it's free. So this is free because it's part of the starter pack. So, okay, so everyone gets this. Okay, so this is how we start off our GTA 5 online in 2022. You are the CEO of Global Dynamics. No shot I am. What the hell is action figures? Why am I getting spam? You can... I'm not even pressing anything! I didn't do anything! Am I being hacked? What is happening? I'm literally trying to buy a buzzard. I feel like I'm being hacked or something. I don't know. You receive rank 25 in GTA Online. What is happening? Is this the state of GTA right now? Can someone let me know in the comment section? Is this... Are you guys dealing with this on a daily basis? Like, what is this? Look! Look! It's letting me... It's somewhat...
Things are dropping on my head. Look. I think someone's dropping money on. What are they? I don't know what's happening. I am so confused. It is not even funny. At this point, I decided to buy my own warehouse. They were on sale for 40% off. So I bought one, filled it up, and then sold it. And look at that. Look how happy I bloody am. 6.6. .6, okay, it's a, it's a cursed number. But 6.6 .6 million 60,000, ladies and gentlemen. Not too shabby for our first couple days. All right, next. Then I thought I'd try my luck at selling a full bunker. We've got a free bunker. Let's fill her up and let's sell it, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what? I was too far away. This bunker was awful. So I, I tried it. I attempted it because I'm a, that's just the type of person I am, you know? We never give up. So I ended up trying to do this mission solo in a private server. Then we got destroyed by a train track and then by a train at the same time. And it was god awful. We didn't end up doing it. And I decided, you know what? I'm not a quitter. I'm going to buy a new bunker, a good bunker, not this crappy bunker that's miles away. We just made 6.6 .6 million off a sale. I can afford a new bunker. So we traded in our old bunker, got like 700k for it, bought a new bunker. And then I filled her up and decided to trade. Not trade, sell. So we sold. We did it solo and we made a bloody ton of money there too. And then I was like, oh, surely you make more money in public, right? Isn't that the whole thing? You can make more money public now. So I decided to do it in a public lobby and boom! We did it and we made a lot more. It was actually pretty decent. We made like five, six hundred K more on that one, which I was very excited about. And then there was a shockingly awful update that came out, but I decided to do it anyway. It was to do with exotic auto. So this is what happened. So first of all, we had to buy an auto shop. And to do that, we had to go to an underground place that had cool cars. And then with me, with my pumpkin head, talk to some people. And then I decided finally to buy one at Burton. And it was 1.8 million and I'm mad that it wasn't on sale. Then I met two really horny people that came to the auto shop and I ended up hitting my spanner on the wall until they looked at me. So after all that, ladies and gentlemen, it was finally time. Finally time for me to go looking for cars. And after about 20 minutes, I finally, finally found my first one. And I was very excited. And I thought to myself, okay, these are like custom cars. Surely we're going to get paid quite a bit for these, right? Because I have a vehicle warehouse. And if you source like the high-end cars in that warehouse, you get a hundred grand. And they already tell you where they are. So surely if you have to spend forever looking for it by yourself, you're going to be able to make tons of money, right? It's got to be worth way more than when they tell you how to find the car, surely. And then I was also thinking, okay, what about the Cerberus? Is the Cerberus going to chase us? That's going to be a lot of fun. It didn't, but it was only our first one. And I was like, okay, surely we'll get the Cerberus here eventually. So how much money are we going to get? I was so excited to figure this out. And there we go. We got 40,000 and that's double. So that means 20,000 is normal, which is absolutely ridiculous ladies and gentlemen but we did it again anyway this time with a blue car maybe this will give us more money nope spoiler it doesn't but maybe i thought the service was going to chase us it didn't but anyway we sold it and we only got 40k and then we did it again and then it was red this time but we sold it anyway and we got bloody 40k again and then did we do it again no i found a skeleton got a little distracted but after a few minutes looking at it, we decided to go and get another one. This one kind of looked like a Dodge Charger, but it was pretty awful. But we sold it, and we got another 40k. Then, we got another one. This one had purple underglow lights, and it didn't give us any more money. Still 40k. Then we got a Bugatti, and we only got 40k. And then we got this one. Actually, this one sounds amazing. Listen to this thing. I actually had to take... I, I really enjoyed driving this one around, just because... It sounded so good. It was better than all the other cars combined. Like, it just sounded so good. And look at the bloody thing. It's an old banger. But we sold it. 40k. So at this point, I decided, you know what? This is ridiculous. It takes me literally four minutes. Three to four minutes to do Headhunter. So I was like, and it pays more. So that's what I did. I decided to do a headhunter, and as you can see right here, I think it takes about three and a half, four minutes. The last kill actually took a while. That's why it took a little bit longer. But you can see, what is the point of doing these exotic missions when you can just do a headhunter mission that takes three to four minutes and you get paid more money? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But we got the little bugger down there anyway. And that time we made 41k. So we made a thousand more and it was bloody quicker. But I got another one anyway because I was obsessed and then we sold it and then I got another one again because I was obsessed and then I sold it. And at this point, we were at the very end and we got this absolute god-awful rendition of a Bentley Bentayga, I think it is. This has got to be one of the ugliest cars in the game. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Like, it, it is 
damage. Actually disgusting. So anyway, I was thinking this is our last car. At this point, no Cerberus has been around. We've done, we've sourced all 10 cars. All 10 of them. And no Cerberus. I was kind of excited because I was like, oh, spooky season. Cerberus is going to chase us. No Cerberus. And it was our last sale. This is literally our 10th car. How much money did we make? Is this worth making millions this week in GTA Online? Our survey says, boom, actually, kind of interesting. 240 grand. So you actually get a 200,000 bonus. I'm assuming usually it's a 100,000 bonus for getting all 10. You're going to be seeing all the videos on all the things I just talked about in the next few days anyway, so you didn't miss anything, but hey, it's so far so good. GTA Online in 2022 for a new player is sick.